It's my pleasure to welcome you to a tutorial on how to estimate total factor productivity using stochastic frontier analytical approach. I want us to quickly look at few things before we estimate with um, our, our software. Um, what type of data do I really need? Usually, it works with either annual time series panel or longitudinal data. Uh, there is a little difference between panel and longitudinal data. Uh, for panel, it is a repetitive measure, a measurement over time with the same unit. Uh, the basic difference between panel and longitudinal data is that the repetitive measurement over time may be with different units in, uh, in respect of longitudinal data. There are various sources for getting the data required. You can get the data from uh, food and agriculture organization of the United Nations uh, statistical uh, database uh, from World uh, Development Indicator and World Table from National Statistical Offices, ILO, and so on. And uh, in terms of the empirical model specification, uh, is it's basically based on a neoclassical production function. Here we have the log of yt to be the log of xt plus vt minus mu t, where yt is the value of agricultural output, and that is the dependent variable. XT is the agricultural production front. I mean, the F into XT T is the agricultural production function. We are XT is the vector of the direct input of agricultural production, and uh, the, the T is the trend which actually measure the technological uh, progress over the analysis period. VT is the two-sided random error, accounting for measurement and statistical errors at time T. Y mutual is non-negative technical inefficiency variable, which measure the difference between the actual agricultural output and the maximum agricultural output possible under a given technology. Usually, the technical inefficiency varies from zero and one. Um, after estimating the production function, and we have various types of production function, uh, the function finally adopted uh, depends on the nature of the data and the knowledge of um, the researcher. But commonly used include Cobb Douglas function, pseudo translog function, and uh, translog function. Um, any good textbooks on production function contains the advantages and limitations of various functions. So the technical efficiency is the expected value of uh, minus mu t given um, Vt minus mu t. So the technical efficiency change 
uh, is, is the index from period T to period S, where S is a year lag of T. So the ratio of the technical efficiency in period T to that of period S um, defines the efficiency change. Usually, we estimate the technical efficiency scores from the estimated parameters of the stochastic frontier model. The technological change between the two periods is given by one plus, this is the uh, marginal value of the function in period S uh, multiplied by one plus the marginal value um, in period T, then we take the square root. That is a kind of geometric mean. And after calculating the technical change and the efficiency change, the product automatically gives out the total factor of productivity. And um, when it is less than one, that is negative TFP growth. And when it is greater than one, that is positive TFP growth. So having said that one, let us move straight away to the estimation using R. Um, we will need uh, three packages. We need frontier package to estimate the translog or whichever function, uh, frontier production function we want to estimate. We need tidyverse to manipulate the data, then summary tools to obtain some summary statistics of interest. Usually, we need to set our working directory and import uh, the data sets. Uh, I have the data in the folder I titled the uh, AB. That is, so this is it. So I set my working directory. Um, then I try to import the data set that is TFP. TFP data, TFP data, so this is it here. Yeah. So click on it, import data set. I import the data. So here is the data set. So um, we may need to uh, get the column names for the data set, those type names, TFP data. So we run this. So these are the column names. We have here the value of agricultural outputs, cropland, NPK, fertilizer, um, land share, that is uh, cropland, share of cropland devoted to arable caribou crops, number of tractors, Galura population, which is used as a proxy for labor. We have the capital stock, then the trend. Um, the data runs from 1961 to 2020. And it's basically obtained from FAO. Um, You may wish to check the spreadsheet you want to, in case you want to make some changes. Just type fix CLP data when it is going to give us the. So here is the. So here is the spreadsheet. So let, let me close it. Good. Um, we need to convert the necessary variables to log form. So to do that, 
Um, from tidyverse package, the function is mutate. So I have my L Y as log of the value of agricultural output, and so on and so forth. L H for crop land, L F for the NPK fertilizer, NT for tractor, L P for the rural population, L K for the capital. Then T for trend. So I run this. So I have my data set. Then um, usually I may want to look at the descriptive statistics of the regression variables. So if I want to do that, then I select the variables. So I select them here. Then I obtain the statistics with this data set that I described. Then start equals to common means I just need the common statistics, mean, uh, standard deviation, minimum, maximum, just few ones that are commonly used in research. So around this, and um, if you want to view your results from your working directory, you have view um, the descriptive statistics you have obtained. Then the name that you want is to be in your working directory. So I don't, since I already have this, let me see, add to this run. So this is telling me that the output is already stored in my working directory. So um, if I want to check it, then I will have to go to my directory in order to, to open it. Um, let's, let's quickly check, check it so that we know how to do that one. So let, let me minimize this. My working directory is RB. Okay, and this RB here. So DE, okay, this is it here. So I say open with, so I open with, I open with Microsoft Word. So this is it here. So we can see that you can now make whatever adjustment you want to make. This is the summary statistics. Yeah, good. So let's go back to our studio. Now for us to run the trans transport model, uh, let's call it T log. Uh, the function in Frontier package is Frontier QUAD. So we define the dependent variables everywhere. We define our X variables, that is dependent variables, independent variables, I mean. So I define them, then the data, then you have to define the distribution, either whether you want to use half normal or truncated uh, normal distribution. Um, so I run it. So we can use this to check the result. This is the summary, yeah. So this is the summary of the result. So here you can see that the average mean efficiency is about 0 0.97. Look at all the various coefficients, all sorts of things. So remember, we need to obtain the marginal values before we can calculate the technical change. So I first obtain the elasticities to get the elasticities, the function in uh, the function in uh, um, frontier packages elast. So I run this, so I obtain it. And don't forget, uh, elasticity is actually the marginal value divided by the average value. So I can now use, 
I can obtain my marginal value by multiplying the elasticity with uh, the average value. And this is what I've, I've tried to do. So I say let's my marginal value for T period be that will be my elastic I multiply by this is the average values. So I run this. So then I want to get the marginal values out. This is my marginal value. So if I run this, I call it WW here. So if you look at my WW is going to give the marginal value for all the variables. But my keen interest is that of T. This, 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 this is my interest. So, and uh, because I need these um, marginal values for the trend in order to compute the information for the period, uh, um, for one year lack of the period. So that is exactly what I'm trying to do here. So I calculate for one year lag. So here I, I calculate my efficiency, which is efficiencies around this. I got the lag for year T. I get the lag for my efficiency. Usually my efficiency changes um, the ratio for the two periods of the two periods. So I run this to get my efficiency change. Technical change now is one plus. Don't forget this is the marginal values for T period, marginal value for uh, one year lag. So I obtain this. Then from there, I can get my TFP. So then I can now write the entire results into Excel, then copy from Excel to Microsoft Word. And if you have done it properly, this is what you will obtain. I've tried to do that so you can see my efficiency technical change. So that factor of productivity for various years, that's from 1961 up to, up to year 20. 20, yeah, that is it. So, and I can I obtain the overall mean for my efficiency chain, technical change, and TFP. So, with this result now, uh, depending on my interest, I can look at uh, the determinants of efficiency chain, technical change, or TFP, depending on my interest. So, this is just what. I want to show us. Thanks for listening. And if you have any questions, you can contact me at any point in time.